Hi there watcher of this video, today we are going to take a look at the Huawei Band 4. On this channel up to now I've really just taken a look at a lot of gaming products and even though gaming is a very fun and an immersive world, I would still recommend you to go outside and move your body a little bit. Especially if you are young, even though gaming is maybe everything to you try to be a little bit active you will probably feel better and when you grow up you really want to start at a good starting point and then you don't want to look back and regret i'm not really a clock guy though but i've worn a few clocks over the times mainly cheap casios that i really beat on and wear down but I would like like a Breitling clock, but they are just too expensive and uh, I would probably just be afraid of damaging it. I've also previously had the Apple Watch 1 or like the first generation, uh, but now it's really dead. I think it's not able to charge it anymore, uh, but I really liked it for the time I was using it and... I was not really using the apps that I had on my phone that were like linked to the clock uh, and the battery time was just too short needing to like charge every night is like fine for the first uh, weeks using it but if you forget to charge it one night then I just stopped using it for longer periods of time. But I really like the fitness aspect of it. So I think the Huawei band is a perfect fit for me. Uh, since it's fairly inexpensive, it got a long battery time, like a week or so. They say 9 days, but for me it's more like 7 days. And it also got all of the fitness tracking capabilities I would want in like a smart watch. Uh, maybe a GPS would be nice, but... For clock this cheap and with a battery life like this I don't think that's possible. There are a lot of options out there when coming to like smart clocks and this is like of one of the cheaper ones where you actually got a fairly nice green and a good the overall design. So since it's so cheap I just hope that Huawei <laughs> is not selling all of my data to the Chinese government uh, to count for the cost of this cheap device. The quality seems to be good only after using it for some time now I've seen that the matte like finish on the rubber uh, is starting to wear out a little bit but it's not something I really notice. Uh, I've not gotten any scratches on the screen on top but I've taken fairly good care of it and I don't really think that the screen is too hard so it will probably get some scratches on it. The clock is also fairly small and fits nicely on my hand uh, but in a perfect world it could maybe be a little bit thinner on the top but with today's technology and when it comes to like the battery, battery time and the technology used I think uh, the thickness is okay since it's got uh, such a long battery life. And uh, also like the Apple Watch, you can wear it while showering, so it can really just stay on your hand for one week at a time until you need to charge it. So the Huawei Health app is fairly simple, but it got the features that you want. Uh, you have steps and you can set your goals for the day. And then you will also like see the calories burned and the overall steps for each day. And you can also click in to go into the statistics, but all of the like the data that is recorded by this Huawei watch will also sync with your health app, at least in your iOS or Apple devices. So even if you're like walking with just your band, it will then send off the information to your health app in your um, in your iPhone, which. It's nice, but 
if we didn't have that, uh, I really wouldn't use this band. But if you want to like look in further to the details, you can go into the health app and look up uh, more in individually. I don't really use this health app here, but sometimes I go in because I'm fairly curious to see how my sleep have been for like how long I've been sleeping in total. I can actually see that on my clock as well, but in the health app it will also show you more like if it was deep sleep or light sleep.